am starting my long journey to California. So I'm starting in Tampa, Florida, and I'll end up in LA County um, in about four days. Actually like five days because I started today, Friday afternoon, and I'll end up in California Tuesday evening. I decided to do this because right now, since the pandemic is going on, I've been working from home uh, for the last two months, or more than two months now, I guess, since mid-March, um, and today is June 5th. So I figured, well, since it's indefinite right now, why not just take a road trip to California and stay with Candy for a bit? Uh, I've always wanted to take a road trip cross country, and especially with Kuma, I forgot to mention I'm with Kuma. So I'm driving solo with Kuma. So there are some challenges because I have to like look for um, proper hotels, but uh, I'll get to that in a second. Um, so yeah, I mapped out my drive the entire way as usual. I love creating itineraries, so this road trip, you know, was no different. Um, every day I planned how far I would drive, and since I have Kuma, um, I thought, you know, 10 hours max a day. And so each day I'll be driving 450 to 600 miles, and that equals about seven hours to nine and a half hours a day. So my stops that I'll be making, first I'm stopping in Pensacola, and that's about a seven hour drive. But I actually, actually add like an hour to that because I take a few stops and let, you know, come stretch your legs a little bit. And then next is Houston. Then from Houston, I will be going to Fort Stockton. Um, ideally, I wanted to have, I wanted El Paso to be my next stop, but it was just like way too long from Houston. So figured Fort, Fort Stockton will do. That's in Texas. And then from there, Tucson, Arizona. And finally, California. I called each hotel I planned on staying at just to make sure, one, they were open, uh, two, that they were pet friendly for sure. And also I wanted to check how much the pet fees were for each place. And in Pensacola, I am staying with my friend. I have lots of friends in Pensacola. Uh, I wish I could see everybody while I'm there, but you know, I need to really get going on the road and kind of hit the points I want to at certain times. Anyway, it's gonna be a good time. I'll see her for one night and then I have to head on out like early in the morning to head to Houston. I've also mapped out where uh, all the Whataburgers were on the road trip because I love Whataburger. It's my favorite fast food restaurant and it's not even the burgers that I love. I actually like the chicken and gravy, the chicken strips and gravy. My absolute favorite. This drive, the first day of drive, driving, I'm not gonna stop by Whataburger because I packed some food that is a little bit more healthy because I know I'm gonna be eating super crappy on the road trip. It's super easy to drive in Florida. Like they have plenty of restaurants, plenty of like nice restroom stops. If you're beginning on I-10 or if you're beginning, you know, um, in South Florida and then going west on I-10, Busy Bee is the gas station to stop at in Florida. It's awesome. It's huge. It's uh, 20,000 square feet. And they're most well known for their very clean bathrooms. I mean, these bathrooms are so nice. It's, uh, they have like nice light fixtures and nice granite tiles and you have your own stall and they clean it constantly. And it's like, it looks really like spick and span clean. They also have like tons of candy, which I'm not really big on, but it's kind of fun for kids like to see all that candy, <laughs> like the huge candy wall that they have. They also have homemade fudge and uh, beef jerky. They have their own specialty goods too, and a gift shop. Also, they have a nice pet area too for dogs to walk around in. So I'm on I-10 now. I'm about three miles away from exit 283. That's where Busy Bee is located. So I'm sure Kuma will be excited to take a break too. You know when you're approaching Busy Bee because they have a lot of billboard signs that have a lot of funny sayings on them. Lots of other things too. Wendy's, Zaxby, McDonald's, Taco Bell, Waffle House, Crystals. 
other gas stations, but Busy Bee is the only one that matters to me. So the Live Oak Jasper exit. Kuma, you wrapped yourself around. She always does this. They even have a dog waste station here. Looks like all the bags are out though, but I'm prepared. I have lots with me. So now I am a little over two hours away from Pensacola. It says I'll be there around 8.30 p.m. I left at 2.15 p.m. So, yeah, not bad. Okay, it is 8.53. Uh, it's central time zone, so it's actually 9.53 my time. Um, oh, oh, no way. Anyway, I'm here. I'm about to see Kathy. Gotta pack all my stuff. Cause I have like everything laying there. Kuma's super excited to go. Day two of being on the road. So today I am going to Houston. It's 530 miles and it will take seven and a half hours. Arrival time says three, but probably four-ish. And uh, it's 7.30 in the morning right now. I had a great time with Kathy catching up and it was a short visit, but you know, we had a couple glasses of wine, caught up and it's always a good time with her. So I'm glad I stopped by her place. But <laughs> I had the most awful sleep last night. I think I slept for a total of three hours. I don't think Kuma slept at all. I hope I'll be okay on this drive. Um, if I get tired, I'm sure, you know, I'll pull over and take a break. But yeah, so I got my Starbucks double shot espresso coffee. This is the best. This is the only canned coffee I'll drink in the States. Um, and it does its job. It's really, really good. And a granola bar for breakfast. I like the Kashi chocolate almond sea salt. I recommend it as Kathy too. So this is the best. All you need is this and coffee in the morning and you're set. Almost in Mississippi. Um, Alabama and Mississippi, I'm gonna pass by like super quick. I am so tired today. <laughs> I'm just not feeling this drive at all. My energy level compared to yesterday is so different. Like yesterday I was like, yeah, let's do this, I'm ready to go. And today I'm just like. Exit 59 has Panera. It's a good option actually, but I'm trying to save my appetite for Whataburger, which I believe I have an hour more. So I am feeling a little bit better now. Um, earlier when I first started the drive, I was not feeling so well. I had a headache, so I took some Advil, and I've been drinking lots of water. So that seems to have helped, and now I feel like I have a little bit more energy. I am almost approaching Whataburger's exit in Louisiana. It's exit 101 on I-10. A travel center right next door, so I'll stop there, use the bathroom, take Kuma out. Great, nice to see you, you too. Oh, there's extra gravy. They need extra gravy. Wow, that was nice. Let's go. Nice pet area. Okay. 
Okay, let's get you your water. Okay. Got my water burger. Took a Kuma for a walk. There's a restroom at the gas station. It's called the Lafayette Travel Center. Good gas station. And uh, they have a nice pet area over there. Yeah, I stopped at the Flying J. Um, good stop. They did have signs that say that if you want paper towels to ask the attendant, because I guess there's people that steal paper towels. So that's that. I was planning on stopping my Bucky's just to check it out. Leave Kuma first in the hotel room because I don't want her to. Because Bucky's, I've heard, you know, I've seen is huge. So if I wanted to really check it out, I'd have to leave her in the hotel room because she can't just be waiting in the car. I believe it was 17 minutes from the hotel, so it's not terribly far. It's just that I have to go out again and drive. So, but I'd rather do it today than tomorrow. I am in Houston now, just past uh, downtown Houston which was huge. Um, I didn't realize Houston was so big. And there's like one, two, three, four, five? Five lanes? Yeah. Five lanes? I haven't been on a five lane road like this in a while or passing like a big downtown area. It's so chaotic. There's so many lanes. I'm so not used to this anymore. Or if I ever was. Here it is, 755 Oldcrest Drive. by Hilton. Ooh, made it. What do you think, Kuma? Do you like the room? Looks pretty nice, huh? Checking it out, scoping it out. <laughs> that was a long journey. Yeah. It's nice and spacious. Very clean. Dig it. Do you dig it? All checked into the hotel in Houston. So surprisingly, I still have energy left and I'm gonna go check out Bucky's. I'm in Texas, so I should just do it. It's uh, 17 minutes from here, so gotta get going. So they're supposed to have really good food at Bucky's too. I don't know if it's really good, but they're supposed to have good food at Bucky's too. And um, one of the recommended uh, dishes is grilled cheese. And I love grilled cheese and I haven't had one in a while, so. Hoping to try that or their brisket sandwiches. I believe this location uh, of Bucky's is 50,000 square feet. Which Keep is one mile. Keep left to merge onto I 10 West. Which is huge. There's the Bucky's icon with the beaver. Okay, here it is Bucky's Katie. Oh my goodness, this is huge. Arrived. Oh my. There's so many gas pumps. <laughs> okay, now there's like torrential rain. 
Okay, so the rain did not calm down. It got much worse. And now it's like torrential rain, almost like a hurricane. Well, I'll just wait in here for a couple more minutes. See how it goes. whole bunch of stuff at Bucky's. Um, and then I got this cute little bag. So that's like a little souvenir. And um, yeah, I just got a whole bunch of stuff so I could just try out everything that I heard about. So the grilled cheese, I got the brisket sandwich, beef jerky, and a cookie. But I, I gotta get on the road so that uh, Kuma's not, not breaking out. She didn't like it that I was leaving her in the hotel room. So it was ginormous, like I've heard. And so much stuff in there. Lots of beef jerky. So I decided to get some pepper beef jerky. I don't eat beef jerky too much, but I do like the peppered ones. And you know, they say that this beef jerky is really good. So I thought I would give it a try. So they have a little bakery section and like with muffins and cookies. They have the barbecue section. I love their uniforms there. It's the cutest outfit. But yeah, so they're making, you know, the brisket fresh and cutting it in front of you. So I, had, I just had to try a brisket sandwich. They have, you know, fresh to go orders and you order those at the kiosk and get sandwiches and I can't remember, wraps. I just really wanted the grilled cheese, so I just went for that. It's also like a regular convenience store too. They have the normal drinks and snacks, but a lot of it is Bucky's branded uh, snacks and souvenirs and goods. They have like t-shirts, clothing, all that stuff is Bucky branded. So it is 7.59 p.m. I am going to eat, take them on our last walk, then shower and go to bed. Hotel room. I'm gonna try my all my Bucky's goodies. Looks good. It's on Texas toast. Mmm. The the toast is nice and buttery. Oh, it's so good. I just love good old grilled cheese like this. I feel like lately when I go to restaurants, like the newer restaurants, they make like a gourmet version of it. And then it just doesn't taste like a grilled cheese anymore to me. In total, I spent $17.89 at Bucky's. Um, the grilled cheese is $3.18. The barbecue brisk sandwich, brisket sandwich is $5.99. And beef jerky is $6.99. And then a chocolate chip cookie is $0.97. I'm gonna try the beef brisket sandwich. I'm just gonna eat like a little bit of this. I just wanted to taste it. Mm. It's okay. <laughs> I mean, for gas station food, it's good. But, I don't know. I've had better bris briskets before. Cut them into little pieces for Kuma. Okay, Kuma, you're in for a treat. This is like very special road trip food for you. And brisket. I think you're gonna love this. Okay, let's go. There you go, babies. That was so fast. That was super, super fast. Did you enjoy it? It's like, where'd it go?